Derek Pitts is the chief astronomer and planetarium director for the Franklin Institute. That's in Philadelphia. Pitts and his team from the Institute will observe the eclipse from St. Joseph, Missouri. That's within a 70-mile wide path of totality, so that's a good spot. He joins us now from Rosecrans Memorial Airport this morning. Hello, Derek Pitts. Good morning, good morning. How is everybody there? No, the better question is, how are you? Listen, when Lonnie Quinn was here, he told us it's like uh, Christmas in August. Michio Kaku says he's <laughs> expecting a spiritual experience. So I'm wondering for you, what excites you most? Are you feeling all tingly today? <laughs> well, I'm really excited about what's going to happen here today. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing totality. Anytime I have the opportunity to stand in the shadow of the moon, I'm happy. And today I'll get two minutes and 39 seconds of a nice uh, bath of moon shadow. Mm -hmm. This is the first coast to coast solar eclipse in 99 years. What can scientists, astronomers learn from today? What astronomers are hoping to learn from today during totality is a little bit more about the corona of the sun. The corona of the sun is that outer atmosphere that's so very, very thin and tenuous. This is what we see during totality, that pearly glow of sort of like atmosphere around the sun. And uh, the corona is incredibly hot, millions of degrees. And astronomers don't understand completely why the corona is so hot, given that the surface of the sun is just about uh, 11,000 degrees. So looking to understand that, also looking to understand more about magnetic fields on the sun. And this also gives us an opportunity to get a little bit better idea uh, shall we say refine our measurements of the orbital uh, velocity of the moon as it goes around the earth because during an eclipse you can use that as an opportunity to get a better measure of that. Aside from all of what's going on in the sky, everyone will be looking up. I understand there's this thing called shadow snakes or shadow bands on the ground right before totality. It's, it's, it, some have described it like thousands of snakes going in the same direction. Explain this. <laughs> Yes, shadow bands are these, it's this really interesting phenomena that happens just before totality and just after totality. And what you actually see on the ground are these rippling lines of light and dark, like shadows and light rippling along the ground. And this is caused by interference of different temperature air cells in the Earth's atmosphere with the light from the sun coming through, but only at the point where it's just before totality. Other than that, you don't see it. Now, these are rare and hard to capture. So that's part of my particular interest is seeing if we can can see these shadow bands because they are so rare, but it'd be really, really cool to see them, especially because it only can happen during a total solar eclipse and you have to, uh, you can't see it anywhere else. So you can't go out to space and see it or something like that. You can only see it on the ground right around you when it's just about to uh, occur totality. Well, Derek, I just want to point out that you personally gave out 8,000 glasses for people to look at this today. You get big good guy points for that. <laughs> Clearly, that was important for you to do. Thank you, Derek. Thank you very much. Bye.